Girl, be quiet. We on a stakeout looking for Moreland. If you want to find out where Moreland is, come and visit me at my YouTube page where I'm going to do my review of the Little Women of Atlanta. So, hey there. This is Auntie, and I am chilling. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm talking about absolutely positively, unequivocally chilling. But I wanted to come out here and do a review on the Little Women of Atlanta. Thank you all for being patient with me while I um was resisting in my body. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? A little cold, a little cough, cold, a little, you know, a little something like that. But anyway, let me be serious. I am coming out here to do a review on a Little Women of Atlanta. And I just wanted to come out here and just be like in chill mode. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, I have been looking at the Little Women for the last couple of weeks. And it's been uneventful. The stuff that they have been wanting to show us about Miss Tanya, I don't care. I do not care. I hate to say it like that. But this chick brings her girlfriend out there to take care, help take care of her kids. And then she turns her back on her when she just when she gets pregnant. She finds out she's pregnant. She you know, the the boy Miko or Nico, whatever his name is, is sitting up there talking to her and treating her like some trash. And she gonna basically tell her, you know, if you don't like it, leave. Well, guess what? That's what Sam did. Sam, I, I take my bra off. I pop my bra for you. Wait a minute. I pop my bra for you. Because you know what? It take a woman that's about her and that got some balls to her to decide that you know what, chickadee? I am going to roll out. I could do you one better. Deuces. See you on a, see you on a low low. Bye. Tanya, then you go. He gonna come in. You on the phone? You pressing them all out. When you come and when you come in, I, yeah, we, trying to be man, manipulative. Get the Negro there, and he leave two days later. Matter of fact, it seemed like it was two hours. All the Negro did was come and help you move from one place to another, so he could know where you are. So when he, you know, when he want to come down there and hang and get a little free booty, a little unobligated booty, a little uncommitted booty, he could do that. He know exactly where you stay at. Girl, bye. You don't have anything going on with yourself. And now you pregnant. Why don't you believe the old cliche, boo? When a person show you who they are, believe them. Why don't you believe that he is just as un... Um, I don't know. I don't even want to talk about her anymore. Let's just go on and let's talk about money. Money been tripping, y'all, because Moreland is gone. All that time she was taking Moreland through stuff, stuff money ties and Moreland and all of that. Moreland finally got tired when money lost that ring. He was like, it's the end of the road. Hasta la vista, baby. End of the rainbow. No little leprechaun waiting on you. And I do feel bad for money because I know how it feels, you know. To, no, let me stop faking. I don't know how I feel. But I can imagine how it feels to be engaged to somebody and they roll out on you like that. So, money, I got a little bit of feelings for you on that. And then, you know, you you know, the last week you was down there trying to get your son. And I say, get your son. I say, be cautious in getting your son. You know, as a mom, we have to do some things sometimes that are not best for us, but best for our children. And to have your child moving from state to state, parent to parent, school to school, life to one, from one life to another life, it's a hard adjustment for a child. There's nothing that's going to happen in your son right now, in your son's life right now that he won't remember money. Be careful about the moves that you make as it relates to your child. Because at the end of the day, we all got to pay for what we allow our children to see, hear, and do. So just be very cautious about moving your son. And in addition to that, make sure everything is stable between you and Moreland. Don't just move your son because you just, you know, you empty right now. Be fulfilled. Be fulfilled as a woman. 
Find out whether or not you and Marlon are going to stay together or y'all not. And then it's not, you know, you ask your son how you feel about Marlon not being here. You know, and a little boy going to tell you, he said, that's a heartbreaking thing for a parent to have to ask their child a question like that. Y'all, I'm just straight chilling, okay? I'm straight chilling. But anyway, so let me finish up, you know. I just say, you know, money... Don't be empty, boo, boo, be full. Get, settle everything with more and find out where y'all stand with one another. Get, get all of that stuff together. And then, you know what? After you have come to a conclusion and you have come to a resolve with more and then try to get your son. But when you go and get him, act like a woman. Be a woman up. A woman about it. Woman up. When you go down there, you don't have to be kicking drinks and getting mad because he's not saying and doing what you want him to say and do. That's not womaning up. Womaning up said that I take responsibility and accountability for the part that I played in losing my son or having to feel like I needed to leave my son. And now I'm willing to do whatever I need to do to show you that I'm going to be a responsible woman and a responsible parent to my son. And that I'm not going to be holding the grudge and keeping my son from you. And I'm going to work together We've with We've all you. had our issues. I'm a single parent myself, and I know how it is. So, money, take your time. Do it right. Other than that, y'all, ain't nothing else going on. Minnie and her mother ain't tripping. Miss Juicy is doing Miss Juicy. The tiny twins, one of them want to be engaged to the guy. But I say, you know what? Be single. Anyway, y'all, thank y'all for watching. Talk to y'all later. Auntie is going to continue to chill out for the rest of the night. Bye-bye, y'all. <laughs>